Hey guys, it's Darren's Props here, and this is episode 2 of my MCC tool chest guide. Woohoo! Anyway, so we're doing custom mob spawners on this one. So, first of all, you want to grab a block of your choice. Any, doesn't really matter. And we're going to hop on the computer now and change this into a mob spawner. Okay, we're on a PC now, so what we want to do now is open up your files. I've called this one Mob Spawners. And you want to extract that to your desktop. Like so. Okay, so now I want to go on the MCC tool chest. Open that up. Find the save.dat. Find your player, which would be you. And we got an inv inventory here, look. And that's the stone block I was holding. So we want to change that into mob spawner for underscroll. Like so. And then we got our one mob spawner. Now you can do this obviously up to 64, so I may as well just do that. And then we want to hit save, exit out of there. Save, hash, and resign. We just need to replace that with the one I just saved. Yeah, and hit this three times and go back on the Xbox. And that's that. Okay, so we're back on the 360 now. Let's load up our map, and I should spawn with 64 spawners. Hell yeah! Woohoo! So that's how you get a spawner. So what I have in this chest here, well I need one of these, is a few spawn eggs. I'll just put all these down. As you can see, there's pigs look. They should start spawning pigs in a minute. But in here, I got some custom spawn eggs, okay? So now you can make these as well. I'll show you how. So that is spawning blocks. So you can change that. Now that's there, I can change that to iron ingots or emeralds or whatever, like I use for my bed wars map. This one is iron golems, but I want to get rid of them quickly because I don't want them because it's going to ruin my tutorial. So yeah, that spawned iron golems and the last one is fireworks, okay? So you can see a little firework stars coming out. Now I'll show you how to make one of these eggs in a minute, but you can only make a certain amount. It only works for entities, but if they're in the spawner, like the creeper is there, I can change him into a spawn creeper. So let me put these back in here and show you this quickly. So you can also make um, spawners with the entity inside it, okay? So in this chest over here, I have some spawners which has the entity already inside it. For some reason on this game, I don't know why, but on PC it's fine. Uh, it has to be exactly the same coordinates. See, it says X minus 200. The Z coordinate needs to be minus 200 as well. So if I place this down, which should be a charge creeper, and then a lucky chest spawner, and a skeleton boss. So first should be a charge creeper. Now you can see inside there, it is a charge creeper. Now I probably need to go into nighttime for this. Here we go. See him? So that's my charge creeper. Uh, I'll show you the skeleton boss one next because it's night time. So that's the skeleton boss. So there's the creeper. Where's the skeleton boss dude? Should spawn in a minute. There he is. Oh, he's going to fight the uh, iron golems, is he? Looks like it. <laughs> Real. Anyway, and then lastly, I'll just show you. You can do. Uh, there we go. The lucky chest spawner. So these only work on the same coordinates. Now it doesn't actually seem to be giving me any, which is quite strange. Normally it does. Are they? Is it spawned on the roof or something? There it is, outside. See, I'm not lying. <laughs> and the custom loot table on that is a blacksmith. No, it's not. It's a bonus chest, sorry. See? So that spawns them. So I've used these in my levels before I've made. All pretty straightforward, it is quite technical, he's killed those iron golems look. So what I want to show you guys, well what we, I want to do with you is 
make a zombie have a load of armor and weapons and stuff so we can make a boss and we're gonna make a custom egg okay on the computer so let's go for a painting okay so when we place the egg inside one of these it will spawn paintings everywhere I know it sounds strange but it does actually exist um, okay so we're gonna put a zombie well I need to put it in night time because else he's gonna burn okay so we we'll put a zombie down and we're gonna put all this armor on him and these weapons in his hands and we can rename him to zombie boss or something and yeah the other one we just want to make into a painting egg so we're gonna hop back on the PC now and yeah let's get on with it okay so we're back on the computer now and we just plugged in our USB and I'm gonna extract this now and then we're gonna work on a zombie and the custom spawn egg which would be a painting to so extract that back to the desktop should copy over the previous save game and now we open our MC tool chest and let's open up that so first I'm gonna do the egg okay so we want a painting egg so if we go into our um, zombie egg look we got that okay so what I want to do here is add a few things to this so I need I want to add another compound tag Calling it display tag like that, and we want to open up that. We're going to call it painting. Like so, oops, that's supposed to say custom name. Sorry, my bad. So that's so. It, oh god, I've really done that done wrong. <sighs> Let me just start that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that is supposed to say custom name, like so. And now I want it to be called painting spawn egg. Okay, so now that egg is called custom, well, it's called painting spawn egg, okay? So this, we want to change that to painting. There's a couple more things I need to add to this, so I need to add a bite tag called facing. And that is which direction the painting is facing, but we want it to be zero, which means it's like against a wall. And now I want to add this little thing here. So we want it to be custom main visible. Uh, my spelling's not very good here. V I S E B O L. Is that? Ah, uh, hang on. That looks alright. And we want that. Okay, so we can put that to one. And lastly, we just need to put another custom name. Like so. And we can call that painting like so so that should be a completely customized spawn egg now okay from what I can see that should work so let's test this one shall we okay so we're back on the Xbox now and let's see <laughs> The painting thing worked. Okay. Ah, oh, obviously my spelling is not very good because it just says spawn. But there's the. Yep. Does it work? Oh yeah. See? Now we've got paintings, you see? Now that's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so you can actually spawn entities with this spawner. Now, there is quite a lot of things. Uh, it's, it's taking me forever to figure all these out, but it's a lot of comparison with, you know, things on the PC. I will leave all these inside the description, okay? Um, yeah, it's just so you guys know, rather than testing and crashing a game a million times like me. 
But that's how you make custom spawn eggs. So now let's do the boss. Oh my god, the paintings are over there. Now let's do the boss and yeah, I'll just show you that quickly. So what I want to do for that, before I do anything, just make my life a bit easier. Uh, let's put a zombie physically inside that. Okay, so we know which spawner it is. Right, onto the PC. Okay, so we've extracted our save and we're going to open it up on the desktop again. And now we're going to make a little custom zombie, okay? So first of all, what I'm going to do is copy my inventory. Oops, so control C it, okay? So one of my players, that's me, obviously. Now I want to find the mob spawner. So we've already got that up there from earlier. Now this is the one I want because I put a zombie in there, okay? So I'm just going to chuck that in there for now, okay? That's that. Now, I had a zombie running around, so I want to find him now. Just type in zombie. There he is. Click on him. That's the chest. There he is. So we copy him now. Just control C. And now we go on to mob again. I mean, you could do all this manually, but it would take you forever. There is. So let's make it big. So we got our zombie, yeah? Okay. So we go down to spawn potentials. We go down here. And this is the zombie entity, okay, inside the mob spawner. So what I'm going to do is paste the zombie I've just copied into it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is actually go on this one, delete the position because we don't want him where he is. And now it says it's unnamed look. So I need to rename that entity. So what I normally do on here is just rename it um, entity and then I put a two or something like that. And then make sure it's exactly the same spelling because this game does crash quite a lot. And now I can delete that one. And now I just rename that back to entity. And now it's pretty much identical to the one that was just there. So now we've got the whole zombie now, so I can modify so much in here now. So first of all, you want to get rid of this UID tag because that will cause problems. So now, because basically each individual item has its own unique number. So if you put it like that, then it doesn't have a unique number. Now this zombie type changes it to villager zombies, baby zombies, blah, blah, blah. So let's just put two for a laugh so you can see it's different. Uh, I can change its health, you know, you can change quite a lot of stuff. But I'm not going to go too mad. Um, but what I want to do is just put some special items on him. So we go on here and let's get the iron hoe. So I've controlled seed that, okay. We go back on here, find a zombie, and there's his hands. Look, delete one of them and chuck in iron hoe. Make sure I delete the slot though, because that's the slot in my character. Okay, delete that. So he's holding an iron hoe now. And let's just give him a leather helmet, okay? So we'll copy that one. This is just so you can see. I'm not going to go too in depth here, but you can add loads of stuff. Trust me, it's all about your mind and stuff. So I'll delete the bottom one because that's helmet, okay? So copy that. And then here, just get rid of the slot again. And then this one has actually got an enchantment on it. Well, I can, you know, up this to, I don't know, that if I wanted, you know. But that's the actual enchantment. But we can go on that another time. Or you've probably seen tutorials. It's all on Minecraft Wikipedia. ID4 is, I think, it's not protection. It's pro pro projectile protection. That's quite hard to say, I think. And that's just the colour of the armour. I can change that to something more bright if I wanted, but... Yeah, there's quite a lot you can do on here. So that's all that, and I can make him drop, see these Fs? So I can make him drop that armor if I want it all the time, just put that to one, and he'll always drop that. So what I've done in the past is made a zombie hold a lever, you see, and he's always gonna drop the lever, to, you know, to continue the level. I've done that before. So you can do it like, so they're keys and stuff. So that's that, and you can actually change the you know, like spawn rating and stuff, but it does get quite complicated. 
I mean, I don't want to mess around with that too much. I might do some other videos on this. I'm not really too sure. But that is that. So I want to get rid of this inventory because that will cause problems. And from what I can see, that is it. So we've got the zombie. And then, yeah. So let's save that and see if it works, shall we? So we get out of there. Go on that. Replace that. On the desktop, find it. And we're going to jump back on the 360. There so, we go. Okay, so we're on the 360 again. Now let's get my little stick up. And let's see if this worked. So far, so good. Oh, there's something in there. There he is. <laughs> he's wearing the hat. And he's got an iron hoe. Now, you see what I mean? It's not that difficult. I mean, it's pretty easy. Let's um, put it in night, uh, daytime so you can actually see him. So he's actually got protectile protection or whatever you call it. I can't even pronounce it properly on him as well. So he's, probably, he's quite strong. And do you see that? He dropped the helmet. One armor. Great. So that's it, guys, really. Um, you can see him spinning around in there. He's got the armor on as well. But like I say, you can do a lot of playing around with the items and stuff. And I will leave in the description all of the spawn eggs you can do. But I hope that you guys understand that. It's quite strange and hard to understand. But once you get it, you get it, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll just put paintings everywhere and that's it. If you want to know anything else, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you. All right? Bye!